there is a civil war going on between the internet and the physical spaces of art. The entire experience of art in a museum now is through digital devices. Most people who go to museums, they don't even look at art. So the museums are totally turning the experience of art into a form of fetishistic ritual to compete with the power of the internet. It is this complete experience that you have with your entire body, not just facing a screen, that I think cannot be replaced. Digital media might add another dimension to it, but it's not replacing this entire complex. Why do we need art galleries anymore, or why do we need film festivals, or why do we need cinemas if the internet or uh, digital spaces can be places for art to be available? Art is never just about seeing an image, art is about what the value is that's attached to an image. What art galleries do is they seek to accrue value to images. Once that image is out there in the world, under what circumstance can it be used? What is it in terms of my world of making sense of what these things cost? It's, it's incredibly complicated. So much of the emphasis is being placed on simply a person that taps something and says like, oh, I like that. And I would like how that looks next to that. Somebody needs to arrange things in a room, sure, but I'm not so sure that one can say that that's more valuable than making the things that will be then arranged into the room. Every period of history has had new forms of media, new forms of expression. We always stay connected to the new forms of expression, but also stay connected to the original forms of expression. The first handprint on the wall of a cave, you know, is a form of printing. Mm -hmm.